everyone, welcome to the channel and today I will show you how to perform a mouse hacking in Google Earth Engine. So let's get started. So to perform the mouse hacking in Google Earth Engine, first we are going to add our country's data into Google Earth Engine. So to load our country's data into Google Earth Engine, I have defined a variable called countries, double e dot feature collection, US uh, United States of Department of State, a large scale uh, international boundary polygon and 2017. So this particular uh, particular code refers to our that imports our uh, country data, world level country data into Google Earth Engine. After that, we are specifically uh, using the Nigeria as our study area. So we have defined a variable called Nigeria equals to countries dot filter double e dot filter eq and uh, country and we are uh, particularly filtering by our country are particularly filtering by Nigeria. So we are importing a world level data, the world level country data. So in order to filter by specifically a particular study area, that is we are using Nigeria here. So you can specify as Nigeria. Suppose if you want to change the different countries, you can just change the Nigeria to the country of you can uh, country of your interest. So you, you can add uh, you can remove Nigeria and add the other countries. So now to add our layer into a Google Earth engine, we have defined map.add layer and Nigeria here refers to our this variable called Nigeria and uh, this is a color palette. So this, uh, these are called default visual, the visualization parameter. So that is our color. So this specific code has a particular color and we define uh, opacity is equal to 1 and referring to our study area Nigeria. So now uh, let me run this uh, run this code. Go to this option called run. So click run script. So now you can able to see that this is a layer that is our Nigeria layer. So I have mentioned here is false. So as I was mentioning by false, the layer will not be displayed. Suppose if you want to display a layer, go to this option called layers click this layer. So now you can able to view here that this is Nigeria. Now let me zoom this. So now suppose if you want to zoom to your study area. So suppose you want to zoom to your given study area. Uh, let me define as. So now to zoom to our study area have defined a map dot center object Nigeria. Now go to this option called uh, run script. Now run. So now you can able to view that it has been zoomed to our study area. Let me turn this on. So next is uh, we're going to load our Landsat 8 image our Landsat 8 image into Google Earth Engine. For that, I have defined a variable called images equals to double e dot image collection Landsat, Landsat 8, collection 1, tire 1, top of the atmosphere. So this particular code refers to our Landsat 8 image. And we are filtering with the temporal filter that is with a specific uh, period that is from 2016, 1, January 1 and 2, uh, 21st of January. So we are filtering with uh, one, with only one month of uh, duration. So next we are filtering with our study area. So only to uh, get a one, get us a Landsat 8 image only from for our study area Nigeria. Have defined a dot filter bounds Nigeria. So to check the number of image found in this particular uh, image collection, have defined uh, print image dot size. So we have a large sets of data. So in order to see the number of uh, collections the image sets that is available we are using this uh, particular code that is print images dot size so the here here the image so the image here refers to this variable called variable image that is our landsat 8 image dot size uh, that refers that uh, gives the number of uh, images uh, that is image collections or number of images in the in this particular period So basically the print images dot size gives us a total number of images that is available in this particular uh, image collection. So now uh, let me run this. Go to this option called run script. 
click run script. So now you can able to view that we have around 98 uh, images that is uh, available, 98 Landsat 8 images that is available in this collection. So we have around uh, 98 Landsat 8 uh, scene, image scenes. So in order to visualize each of this is a kind of uh, time consuming. So that why, that's why we are using a mosaicing. So what does this mosaicing does is it displays uh, a single image from all these 98 images. So we, go, we will get a single image out of the 98 images. So basically the mosaicing is, uh, is, is for visualization purposes. That is, that is we can able to view all these 98 the different Landsat scenes as a single image. So now let us uh, next is spatially now let us spatially mosaic the images in the Landsat collection and display it. So now to spatially mosaic our Landsat 8 image collection and uh, let's display it. To uh, mosaic our Landsat 8 image collection we have defined a variable called image mosaic equals to images. So images as refers to our Landsat 8 image. So it refers to this variable called uh, images Landsat 8 image dot mosaic is an algorithm that performs a mosaicing of this all these 98 images into a, a single Landsat image. So next we uh, next we're going to define our visualization parameter. So define a visualization parameter. We define a variable called visualize param equals to bands. So we are using band four, band three, and band two of Landsat 8 image. That is our RGB bands with the max of uh, max value of 0.3. And to add our layers, that is to add our layer into add our layer, we defined a map dot add layer image mosaic. So the mosaic image will be displayed. So it refers to this variable image mosaic that is performing an algorithm mosaic. And uh, next is defining visualize uh, vis, uh, vis param that is visualization parameter. So this refers to our visualization parameter of our bands, band four, band three, and band two. And out output as our mosaic landsat. To center our uh, to center our layer, we have defined map dot center object, and Nigeria that is our study area. Dot six six refers to the, the zoom level. So now uh, let us run this code. Go to the option called run script. Click run script. So now you can able to view that one layer that is our that is a mosaic Landsat layer and our other layer is our boundary layer that is our study area boundary layer Nigeria. So this is our mosaic uh, Landsat 8 image. We have mosaic all the different scenes in scenes of uh, Landsat 8 image for for our study area Nigeria. So now we can able to view that in some part of our study area it is of completely of uh, cloudless. So you can able to view that this particular part of our study area is very clear and doesn't have any uh, cloud contamination. But certain part of our study area does have a cloud contamination. It might be a different seasonal uh, seasonal activities that might cause a uh, uh, rainy in one area and uh, subsequently no rains in other areas. So uh, let me show you the other things, other part of our study area. So you can able to view that here. Another part of our study area has a higher cloud contamination and some part of our study area is very clear. So we have generated a good looking Landsat 8 image. So we have simply uh, we mosaic 98 uh, different Landsat uh, scene, Landsat 8 image as a single uh, image in this uh, video. So in this video I have shown you how to uh, mosaic a Landsat 8 image for entire of study area Nigeria with our 98 uh, different Landsat 8 images. So I have shown you how to load a country's data into Google Earth Engine and how to load our Landsat 8 image into Google Earth Engine and uh, how to spatially mosaic our Landsat 8 image uh, in our Google Earth Engine. So thanks for watching.
please subscribe to our channel.